Giving y'all what you want and better what you need. Hands remind you how fly you are and he won't stop. So track, this is the path to God start. Be in this town and make your musical mark. I'm taking it back to them good days if I may. Beats go bumping and I got something to say. Right, I'm fly and I know it. This time I'ma show it. Can't stop, no, I won't quit. Tearing in haters and make them love it. I'm fly and I know it. This time I'ma show it. Cell phone daily, 
Cold night in the country I'm riding Looking for some trouble like a slide it. Maybe I won't ever get diamonds Contract signs What about the world we reside in, yeah Over the hill It's starting to rain slow As it's coming down I'm letting my pain go Snap out We just getting started
No one knows it? Yes. Water bottles bottles is incorrect. Uh, Go ahead. Handbags, no. And in the back? Okay, here we go. Here's option A. (laughs) 
let me go let me go to the uh, okay let me say this I, i'll help you out i'll help you out if you rang once you can only ring once and then, until the until i give the multiple choice there you go we're making this up as long you know we're a non-profit and we don't have all the rules young lady you know sometimes we need help from the community you know what i'm saying we want to know what you want okay <laughs> you get i'll make sure you get a little prize for that Okay, here it is. Option A is umbrellas. Option B is cell phones. Option C is alcohol. And option D, items to be signed by autographs. Who, who rang it first? This table? Umbrellas is the answer. She banned umbrellas, A-A-A, from all concerts in 2008 in UK. Here we go. Crime is... Listen, so these here's 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 the here's the uh, here's the lyrics. I'm gonna sing you some lyrics. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, I'm a poet, not a singer. But you gotta tell me what is the name of the song. Here we go. Crime is increasing, trigger happy policing, panic is spreading, God knows where we're heading, makes me wanna holler was in which Marvin Gaye song. Who I think they, these guys are. It is not what's going on. Mercy, mercy, no. Back here. What? What's going on? No, it wasn't what's going on. Yes. Inner city blues. Inner city blues. That is it. Da, 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 da. Here we go. The group, this group's hit songs include Forever My Lady, Come and Talk to Me, Fiendin' and Lately. What's the name of, yes. Look at you with the jealousy. The fair, I didn't expect that from you, but I love it. That made my day. That made my day. I'm gonna skip late going home. All right, here we go. Did you get that one, Veronica? You got them? Okay. Grammy Award-winning disco queens Donna Summer had back-to-back -back number one hits with Hot Stuff and Bad Girls in 1979, but who recorded I Will Survive? Whoa, dang. Okay. Gloria Gaynor is the answer. Hey, now you have to sing it for an extra point. Oh, I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> we don't have the budget for you singing it. We do not have the budget. We got to pay you extra. All right, here we go. Th let me see what time it is. Okay, good. Which duet contains the lyrics? I'd give you. Th I'd give you the flowers, the birds, and the bees. With your love beside me, that's all. That will be all I need. Yes. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> you had it. It was like almost there. Any other? Let me read it again. Uh, I'd give you the flowers, the birds, and the bees. If I sang it in the voice, you know exactly who it was. Uh, the bird. I give you the flowers, the birds, and the bees. And with your love beside me, that will be all that I need. Yes. No, it is not it. All right. Anybody? Anybody? All right. So, actually, uh, is uh, is it B? I'm asking who 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 sang the song in the name of the song. That's the question. Yeah. Always and forever. No. No. You guys are all terrible at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. That was mean, Gil. That was mean. That was mean. Don't, don't say that about him, Gil. Don't, don't say it about him. Okay, here we go. Um, if Is it... I didn't pick a, a multiple choice for this. I was hoping someone would get it. But B... Um, a is... A is Bob Marley and Lauren Hill. Turn your lights down low. B is If This World Was Mine by Luther Vandross and Cheryl Quinn. C is Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. Ain't no mountain high enough. Those are your three options. You first. 
That is incorrect. Down, who, who's, who, someone's ringing. It, it was you guys? Okay. Put your, put your bell a little bit, yeah, like right there. What, what's the answer? What's the answer? It ain't, ain't no mountain high enough. What is it? What's up? It was them? What'd you say? Luther Vandross, if this world is mine. You know what? I couldn't tell if it was these two because they both rang at the same time. So give them both one point. There you go. You see how fair the old globe is? You see how loving and embracing we are? We gonna bend the rules for you sometimes. Don't ask me twice. Here we go. People Get Ready by Curtis Mayfield was one was called the unofficial anthem of the civil rights movement by what political fi figure? And uh, sorry. People Get Ready by Curtis Mayfield was called the unofficial anthem of the civil rights movement by what political figure? And who used the song to get people marching? Who did it? Is this, is this table right here? Who is it? Stokely Carmichael is incorrect. Yes. <laughs> they say, say it. I don't think she's scared to say the answer. I think she just don't know it. Like, <laughs> yes. Martin Luther King is correct. This is like the sleeper group. They have like children that were, were born like yesterday and you didn't say it, I waited. I, I waited, right? I waited, okay, cool, cool, as long as I'm fair. Number nine, this group struck gold with backstabbers in 1972. Love, yes. The OJs, you should've came early, you could've participated, you see what I'm saying? All right, last question, last question. Which soul singer has won the most Grammys ever? Mariah is incorrect. In the back, are you guys, do you, you have a computer back there? What's, what's going on? All right, what, what's the answer? Aretha Franklin is the answer. So they, sleeper, what? I should have known something when Mickey was playing hip hop and their kids was like grooving, like they were about to go, like I was about to get into their cypher. I was like ready. They were like grooving and he kept looking back at me. I was eating my food. His son kept looking back at me. I was like, are you ready to win? He's like, I'm ready to win. And look at that. I don't even know if you won yet, but you guys are dope. All right. So I'm going to give an extra bonus point to anyone who could tell me how many uh, how many Grammys Aretha won? And this is what I'm going to do. Uh, who's in first place right now? This team? So I'm going to give you, uh, I, I, I see the cell phone, brother. Just be careful. Be careful. Not you. Your son was trying to help you out. He don't know the rules yet. All right. So I'm going to give you first choice. And whoever gets the closest gets the extra point. This may be a tiebreaker. How many Grammys? Thirteen. Okay, he has thirteen. Uh, who's in second place, Veronica? Table number two. <laughs> I'm glad you ain't on the mic. <laughs> thirteen. Seventeen. Okay, uh, and then oh, you got two. Okay, so let's go with you first. 14, 38, you believe in Aretha, I like that. Yes. 19, okay. So, she said 17, you guys said 19, it was 18 Grammys for Aretha Franklin. First of all, give it up to Aretha, you know what I'm saying? Give it up to Aretha. And because I'm feeling generous, give both of them a point, give both of them a point. That's how I do it here. This is my stage right now until Laura comes on. And, and she's a lot more charming and beautiful than me. So uh, you guys are in a treat. All right, so who is the winner, winner, chicken dinner? Table number, what is the table number is this? Table number six. 
They weren't even sure if they were going to go into it. Give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. And for you, we have a, uh, this is some of the hottest tickets in town. This is a two-ticket voucher for hair coming up. So come on up. Come get it. So come see your representative. I better not see the answers on your arm. I don't know if you looked at my, my, my sheet or what. What's your name, brother? John, good job, John, good job. And your little partner, too, your hype lady. Who, is, who, is ta who, who got uh, uh, number two? Oh, right here? Okay, and you are going to get, this is a four pack of tickets to go see uh, uh, Eden Espinosa um, from The Globe's Reign, and she's also been on Broadway's Wicked and Rent. So she's an amazing performer. You get a four pack. And you know what? I'm feeling my Oprah right now. I'm feeling my Oprah. You get a four pack, and you get a four pack, and you all get a four pack. And I think that's about it. Mickey Vale, you want to start playing some music? Give it up for all the people who participated. Good job, good job. And welcome for all those in attendance to the Old Globe. to me. 
so they, they told me, they said, Gil, we're feeling generous. Get up there and give them some more prizes. You, you guys want some more prizes? All right. I was trying to look up some more questions here. Uh, this is for people. Let's start with the people who haven't participated yet. What instrument is Alicia Keys most noted for playing? Piano, sir. Can you catch? There you go. Good job. I'm going to get a couple of them. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where This is all about Alicia Keys, I guess. Where was Alicia Keys born? Someone who didn't participate. In the back, right there. New York, you get a keychain. Come on up when you get a chance. Eddie Levert, the singer of the lead singer of the OJs, is father to whom? Yes. Gerald Levert, look at the young buck knowing it's old school. You get a keychain too. Remind me to give it to you. If I say that you get a keychain, just come up to me uh, after the show or during the show or whatever. All right, let's see. What decade is the hit single On and On by Gladys Knight and the Pips from? What decade? Raise your hand, raise your hand. In the back. No. 70s, my man right here, the 70s. There you go. What decade is the hit single Do Wop That Thing by Lauryn Hill? What, what decade is that from? Who hasn't answered? Yes. The 90s is correct. Remember, everybody that gets an answer correct, come see me right after this, and I will give it to you. Uh, Keisha Cole channeled Jerry Maguire with the 2009 single release of what song? Yes. You just like to raise your hand. <laughs> she, she, she's just like, I'm going to raise my hand, and I'm going to look to you for inspiration. And then she's just silent. <laughs> You immediately looked at her. You didn't know it. Next question. What country did uh, Corinne Bailey Ray come from? Yes. Yes, she's from England. Good job. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> you know what? I'm going I'm to I'm give you uh, uh, an easy one. Um, let's see. Let me see. Where's Rebecca Jade from? What'd you say, San Diego? I'm, I'm here, I'm giving you the answers. You know what, I'm gonna give you a, 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 a keychain just for participating, just for keeping me entertained. Sometimes you gotta reward people for keeping you entertained. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're about to start the show. DJ Mickey Vale, give it up for her one more time. All those who answered the, uh, the answers correctly and did not look to someone who didn't know, know the answers, Make sure you come see me and I'm gonna get you uh, your keychain. Give it up for Word Up! for coming out here. Welcome to Word Up. This is, in case you didn't know what you got yourself into tonight, this is a, a very collaborative storytelling program. It's real messy. We're going to make something all together by the end of this hour. But I'm your host, Laura Z, and I promise that you will know what's going on at the moment that you need to. Right now, it's a little bit vague, and that's OK. But give it up for Gil Sotu, our amazing trivia host this evening. Oh, yeah. Also, please give it up for Mickey Vale, our amazing DJ and sound designer. So if you were here from 4.30 onward, Mickey was playing exclusively San Diego musicians music. I know, and so that's a pretty amazing and a very amazing playlist. And if you are interested in getting that playlist and listening to all San Diego artists, the great thing about Pockets is I have all I need right inside them. So this is one of the programs that y'all have, right? So right there is a little QR code. And if you 
Open your phone's camera, you scan it, you're gonna get the YouTube live stream for this program that's live right now. Hi, YouTube viewers, we love you. Uh, and in the caption to that video is gonna be the playlist that was exclusively from Mickey Vale, and I'm just realizing right now, Kevin, that I updated the caption, you can update it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so in a minute, that's totally me. In a minute, the caption to the video is going to include a link to that playlist so that you can listen to it all the time. But Mickey Vale is also going to help us out with a few more things this evening. We're going we're gonna to get to meet our amazing featured guest artist in a minute here. But uh, we got to start off with a theme song, right? But because we're starting off uh, with a sound design for the first time ever for this program, and we need your help to learn about it, we thought we'd like make up a theme song on the spot to open the show. And here to help us with that is a guest artist who you might recognize from this program a little while back, Rick Scales. Give it up for Rick Scales. We've got a mic for you right over there. So, Rick, how you doing? I'm Why? doing like feedback. How are you guys doing? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. I'm walking over there. Ooh, yeah, I should have came around that way. That's what. <laughs> For next time. For I next feel time. like that was maybe my fault over there walking by the tree because I wanted to make sure to explain people, you know the drill, mm -hmm. with this. But uh, there's going to be a point in today's program where you're going to get to write something on one of these little hearts and add it to our old globe family tree. You're here, you showed up, you're joining our family tree. It's absolutely mandatory. It's very solemn and serious. So at some point we're going to get to that. But for the last couple weeks, people have been writing the ways that they define our San Diego arts community and what their greatest wish for our community is on these little ornaments that have been joining our family tree steadily over time, and we knew we wanted to do something fun with them. And Rick, you, you, you do some cool stuff, right? I'll be doing stuff. you be doing stuff. I do things with words. You do things with words. Stuff with words. So maybe we, don't, maybe we don't even explain it any more than this, other than I'm gonna be giving you some things that people wrote, and, uh, and you're gonna do things with words. Words. Yeah? Give it up for the Word Up official theme song. Go ahead uh, and hit it, DJ. Beat by Ralph Quasar. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, yo, do me a favor. Say Word Up. Word Up. Say Word Up. Word Up. Yeah, Word Up. Yo, my name is Rick Scales, and I'm lit. Healthy success as you define it. And you know we got a surplus. You know what they wish for? A lot more word up. Cause we kicking flows. We at the old globe. Have them awake. They never took a no dose. And they don't want to clash with the Titans. I'd like to freestyle with this, but that's a lot of writing. Yo, and it's never be dumb. I mean, it'll never be dumb. It's entertaining and fun. Diverse, exciting community. I kick raps and got diplomatic immunity. For MCs that I got to hurt holding it, the microphone, I mean, just roll with it. Yo, and that's what the heart just said while I kick these freestyles off the top of the head. And I kick flows whenever I say so. And this heart says, you are the future of San Diego. Hey. hey. And this is vibrant. I'll be on the microphone kicking all that live shit. Never mind. <laughs> I'ma try to not say bad words when I rhyme. And I'm spreading love like every time. <laughs> mm. And it's a artfully welcoming. And uh, whatever rhymes with that. But we got passion, and I stay rapping. My name's Rick Scales, and I'm all about the action. And we're still welcoming them in. I think I already had that one. And this was blank, but no, it's not. But I'm still going rock, blowing up the spot. I like your purple hat and the top. Yeah, I like it, yeah, because it was, uh, it was, he had the Prince thing on, the purple rain. I'm sorry, yeah. Thank y'all. All right, give it up, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, I'll give that back to Kira. Thank yeah. you, yeah, give it up one more time for Rick Scales. So uh, after the end of today, after you've written on your ornament, you're going to have to come back and see if Rick or if any artist is going to be coming up here and creating an original theme song each time with your words. Uh, we're going to do some other fun things today. Mickey Vale is going to be trying out some sounds, you know, to cue fun transitions. And uh, I would encourage you to, if you hear a sound coming from over there that you especially like, go ahead and applaud it, because we want to figure out what works. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So we, we, got, we got the point of that part. I want to also give it up for Ant Hill Creative Technology, who's live streaming this entire thing right now. And the way that this works when we're doing something live, I've got friends on the plaza with me. We've got friends on YouTube with us right now. 
uh, there are two ways that you can participate in all the questions that we're asking you today. So one way is, if I ask you a question like, how are you doing? <laughs> all right, there you go. You, you, you can just shout it out. That's one way to participate. Um, one other way, because we've got planes flying overhead, we've got bells ringing, sometimes it is hard for me to hear you. And so we have an amazing helper right over there, Veronica Burgess. Woo, give it up for Veronica. If you're trying to share your responses to something and I'm not hearing you, go ahead and wave to her and we'll play like a little game of telephone, right? So she'll hear your answer and she'll pass it all the way on. Thank you so much, Veronica. Another way that you can participate, and you can do this whether you're on, watching on YouTube online or if you're right here in person. In that YouTube live stream that you can access from this nice little QR code, you can participate in the chat to the video. So if you wanna just be typing your answers in the comment section, we'll be reading them out. We're gonna, we're gonna get to say hi to folks, but the way that we're gonna know what you're saying when you're typing it quietly is our amazing YouTube moderator. Valeria Vega, go ahead and give it up for Valeria Vega, she's right over here. Yeah. Welcome Valeria. Woo, she's flying today. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us again, Valeria. How you doing? Excellent. Gracias, Laura, for having me here. Thank you so much for coming. You came prepared with your hat I because did. if you've been here before, you know that we kind of rearranged the stage <laughs> this time. We thought it might be better to have light on us instead of behind us. But as a result, Valeria and I are going to be a little bit <laughs> shinier than we've been in past weeks. So uh, this and all of your feedback to everything, you can put on surveys at the end because we're always creating this with people's contributions and participation. All right, now I'm trying to think of what the next person I have to introduce is. I think it's time to introduce our featured guest Yay. artist, yeah? Yay. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and check this out. So we're going to kick off with a performance from our featured guest artist. And I'm going to make sure that I don't get anything wrong because her bio is right up here. Rebecca Jade is an accomplished, award-winning singer and songwriter and has been touring with the queen of percussion, Sheila E., since 2017. Yeah, give it up. Uh, she has released four full-length albums and one digital EP and earned the 2020 San Diego Music Award for Artist of the Year. She graduated, yeah, I know, right? She graduated from UC Berkeley on a full basketball scholarship with a degree in theater and performance studies. And she is nominated again for a San Diego Music Award for her song, Bad Wolves. Give it up. <laughs> on that song is also featured Mickey Vale and Veronica May and Jason Mraz. And the music video for that song is also nominated for a San Diego Music Award, filmed by Ebony Harvey, who's also here tonight. Woo! So without further ado, let's kick it off with a song from Rebecca Jade. Woo! Check, check. What's up, everybody? Can we do a little Stevie Wonder right now? Come on. Like a fool who went and stayed too long. Now I'm back and wondering if your love's still strong. Ooh, baby. Here I am, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours, yeah. Still the time to win and say goodbye. Now I'm back and not ashamed to cry. Ooh, baby. Here I am, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours, yeah. Here I am, baby. Seen a lot of things in this whole world When I touch them, they mean nothing, girl Oh, baby, here I am Signed, sealed, delivered on your day Been the time I went and said goodbye Now I'm back and not ashamed to cry Ooh, baby, here I am I'm 
future in your hands. Here I am, baby. All right, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. I done a lot of foolish things that I didn't really mean. Didn't I? Didn't I? I said, now here. wrong with some Stevie Wonder in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Rebecca, it's so fun to have you. We can like join our amazing stage yet, yeah, like hug without the face. <laughs> so, Rebecca. Yes. Uh, have a seat. Thank have you. A seat. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I'm going to just like casually lean against my table for a little bit. Uh, I'm so excited to have you. You're an amazing artist. You're everywhere in San Diego and beyond. Um, and you're bringing us the art form of R&B tonight, right? That's right, that's right. We got some R&B trivia. Yeah, give it up for R&B. <laughs> so before we get started on creating an original work of R&B, sort of, based yes. on your song. Yes. <laughs> uh, could you share with us a definition of R&B for somebody who might have no idea what it is? Um, gosh, if I had to just pick out of, you know, just words out of the sky, <laughs> I would say it's more of a feel. I think... Um, to even like a, uh, it's more of a, a, a backbeat feel sometimes, if that makes any sense. I know that might not make a lot of sense, but um, it's just got like, you, it, you almost like it, you, you have to snap your fingers and uh, it's more of a feel thing, I think. You know, it's a more laid, like laid back, but it's, it's got energy to it. I don't know if that's any proper description at all, but. <laughs> that's, that's definition. You've got, I mean, that's what I love, is that like people who come to Word Up, you're just like ready with the applause to just like be supportive. So we've got, right. we've got a great definition going. I appreciate that, I appreciate uh, that. But Mike, I'm curious, because there's so many different art forms, there's so many ways to tell a story and express ourselves. So what is it about R&B that you find uniquely powerful? Like what can R&B do that no other art form can do in quite the same way? Uh, there's something about the energy in it, even if a song is slow, there is still a pulse within the music of, of R&B. And um, that pulse helps to, I don't know if it's subconscious or subliminal, but it helps to push, support the message of the lyrics, um, in my opinion. So that's why I think R&B is such a powerful uh, mode of transportation of music, if you will, yeah. <laughs> of the rhythm and the music and the message. I'm excited to talk about the message that you brought up to us, because the way that this kind of works is that Rebecca has uh, very generously offered to share a song, an original song that she has written. Um, and if you're familiar with the kids' word game of Mad Libs, similar to a Mad Lib, we're going to take this <laughs> song that's complete and amazing, and that you can also you know, check out Rebecca's website to learn more about. Uh, but we took this song and we made it into a Mad Lib. So we took out some pieces so that we could ask you questions to fill in some of the blanks. Uh, so we're gonna, that's, that's basically the gist of what we're gonna do, and we're gonna, yep. and we, we're using this opportunity. Oh, that's a good to reminder. Play a word game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more. There's to more, there's more. It. However, right now, <laughs> this is oh, perfect, okay. because this is 545 right now, and at 545, that's when the California Tower reminds me that no matter what we're talking about, I need to remember to tell you about a very important thing before 6 p.m., <laughs> which is that at 6 p.m., that same thing is gonna happen, but it will be much longer, and it will be much more awkward. So what we're gonna do at 6 p.m. is no matter who's saying anything or doing whatever, we're all gonna stop what we're doing, and Rebecca, what are we gonna do when the bells chime next time? We'll see when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will be looking to you, because I do not know what we will be doing. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I got you. We'll figure it out. I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do got me, because I do not got you for that one. Uh, okay, but what we were talking about was R&B and about this song that you're offering um, and how we're going to have take this opportunity to ask the audience questions around the theme that you wanted to bring up in conversation. 
Um, so we've got people on the plaza who are joining this conversation, people on YouTube who are joining this conversation. Valeria, anybody on YouTube you want to say hi to real quick? Well, our usuals are here. Rianne, of course, Andrea. We have Marjorie Fasoli. I haven't seen Marjorie on this oh. channel. I've seen her in poetry a lot, but on this channel, Joe as well is here. So Amazing. yeah, everybody's sending lots of love and hoorays and excitement and yeah. Hello everyone, by Hello. the way. Hi friends, thank you for Hi, joining friends. us. <laughs> yeah, applause for the people watching on YouTube. I appreciate you. That's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to talk. We have a lot of great conversation that we're going to talk about in just a sec. But we have somebody here to help us have that conversation. <gasps> yeah. So in addition to our featured guest artist, we also have every week a San Diego community guest. And that person is here to join in the conversation and we get to have their experience, their perspective, and just enjoy their company. And my prompt to the featured guest artist when they're picking the San Diego community guest is an important San Diegan. Whatever that means to you, for whatever reason, however you define that. So you've picked a very important San Diegan. Would you help me out and introduce this person? I would love to. Um, this person is very special to me, um, personally. Uh, he hails from New York and um, many years ago. Then came, he was in the Coast Guard, brought him all the way out here to San Diego, California. Um, he spent a good, I think over 50 years in the food and service industry. Um, and also in the course of those years, he's also an author. And this person is very special to me because it's my father. Mm. So I wanted to introduce my dad, Eric Stalvis. <laughs> Did I do okay, Daddy O? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Stalvis. I'm so happy. Oh, and then we got another sound effect. Did everybody hear that chime? <laughs> yes. Chime, be beautiful chimes for you, Mr. Salvage. Let's have a seat on this wonderful set. Yeah. How about when the chimes start, we all get down and do push-ups? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like it. Are you volunteering? <laughs> I'm watching. You're watching. You're Sit like down. the referee. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So we're now in, we're now seated on a wonderful set that if you've been here before, you've noticed it changes from week to week. Our amazing props department is helping us to customize the set every single time. Please yeah. give it up for props. Woo. Big props to props because <laughs> Uh, we got to go yesterday, actually, the three of us, yep. to the Old Globe Tech Center in southeastern San Diego. Mm -hmm. And will you tell us a little bit about what that was like, just wandering, wandering the halls and picking out some things, and tell us about what you chose. I thought it was really cool. It was wonderful to see, you know, I mean, there's, it's magic when you get to see you know, what's on the stage once you get to see the performance. But that magic has to be stored somewhere, you know? So we, <laughs> it was wonderful to see all these amazing props and set, uh, set design pieces. And we just walked up and down the aisles and we were trying to pick um, just some different things. And so I picked, uh, I, I liked the little TV because I got, you mentioned my degrees in theater and performance <laughs> studies. And so one day I might be on that, you know, uh, maybe not that one, but, uh, you know, and um, also um, I'm, I'm, I love like mechanics, auto mechanics, and uh, and uh, and my dad, like I mentioned, it was in the Coast Guard, and so I loved this. This is a boat. What was this called, Daddy? A ship's again? throttle. A ship's throttle. So I thought that was really cool to add that. And um, also, um, my dad likes to drink coffee, and yeah. I recently got um, a, 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 like a. I'll be. Plugging it more, but I also just recently got a, a coffee endorsement, so um, hey. I'm gonna be. I uh, thought that was pretty cool, so I wanted to add that as well. <laughs> Should I say something? You yes, should. of course, of course. It's wonderful to see all of the magic behind the magic that you see on stage. Yeah. And you go to that storehouse. It's beautiful. It's millions of items in there. And you see a little story in every one of them is, mm -hmm. you know, the yeah. old TV sets that I remember growing up with, you know. Yeah. I remember yeah. we talked about the black and white era. There was somebody else there who shared those years with me. It was fascinating. Okay. Wonderful. It was so fun to get to have you. I'm so glad yeah. that we got to go. And thanks again so much to our props department, who every week is just like being the best tour guides mm -hmm. um, yeah. and helping us customize each set 
to the, to the featured artists, featured guests, and to what we're working on for that week. And uh, so we're going to create an original work of R&B, right? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited, too. I'm excited, too. And it's about a theme that you wrote this song about and that we wanted to start a conversation about, ask folks to reflect on and uh, express their imaginations about. So this theme yes. is choices. Yes. Tell us, Rebecca, tell us about what this theme means to you and why you brought it to this community to reflect on and think about tonight. So uh, we pick choices because I think every day, every multiple times throughout the day, uh, we are inundated with things. We have things that come up. We have, uh, you know, you might have a, 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 one day might be just fine, might be a regular day, and then the next day it might be something that jars you, something that, you know, interrupts, you know, your plan in life or whatever the case may be. Um, or just what you're going to have for lunch, you know, later that day. It could be anything, right? We all make choices every day. And we're also, we need to figure out how to make a choice on how we react to certain things, right? So um, this song is about uh, actually, you know, if you're dealing with some hardships in life or whatever the case may be, how are you going to handle that? How are you going to, you know, um, What's your mentality going to be when you're going to, uh, you know, face this situation? Are you, how are you going to face it? Are you going to face it head on? Are you going to run away from it? What are you going to do? So this song is about um, challenging you to, uh, to try to make the, the best choice for, you, for yourself. Mm, I love it. I love it. I'm so excited because we've got a really great list of questions to go over. <laughs> and I think it's about time to get started. Are you both ready? You're ready. <laughs> all right, all right. So here's how this next part is going to... Oh, uh -oh. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mickey, for that. Thank you. The way, the way that this next part is going to go is uh, I'm going to ask a question to everybody. And then we up here are going to talk through it a little bit, give you a chance to think about your response, give the YouTubers a chance to get their comments in. And then we'll open up that question to everybody on the plaza and to Valeria to help us know what's going mm -hmm. on, yeah? Yes. Yes. We're super ready over here. And Declan's in the house. He just got here a little bit late. I was getting worried, Declan, but oh. you're here. Okay. We love Declan. <laughs> Declan is probably our youngest man. Everybody say hi, Declan. Hi, Declan. Hi, Declan. <laughs> we love you, Declan. Thanks for joining. Um, so when I, when I ask a question, you can shout it out. You can flag down Veronica over there. Uh, or you can be typing. And the only rule for your responses is that we want to keep it inclusive. So whatever you shout out loud should be something that makes everybody else on the plaza or in the YouTube feel like this is still the place for them. So that means we're keeping it relatively oh, family nice. friendly, right? Mm -hmm. Family friendly stuff. Uh, but other than that, there are no rules. You notice it doesn't even have to be true. If we ask you a question and you're like, this, uh, this is too personal of a question, I don't really want to share. You can totally make something up. There should be no assumption that anything anybody says out loud or in the chat is real, <laughs> right? That's Use your imagination, good. make, you know, you can eat whatever, whatever you want to, whatever you would like to add or contribute. And I hope uh. that even if it's not something that you do want to share and it's not something that you flag Veronica down for, I hope that you still come up with an answer in your mind just for yourself, because that's part of what this is all about, is about these things that Rebecca has asked us to reflect on for ourselves. That's all you got to do, even if you don't share it to anybody. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's... <laughs> Although I love that sound effect, I don't know if it's very helpful in the storytelling. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. First question. I'm going to toss it to you both first, okay? And you can follow along on your, on your program. First question. What is one thing that people compliment you on? Mm. Maybe there are many, but what's just one thing that people compliment you on? The way I dress. Hey, oh. I agree. You got that, like, the tie is so tie, yes, yeah, the tie. The way you dress, yes. snappy dresser. I love <laughs> yeah, it. Thank you. I love it. How about you, Rebecca? What's one thing that people compliment you on? I would say my hair. <laughs> I get a lot of compliments on my hair. Yeah, I've yeah. witnessed probably like five of them just this afternoon as we've been getting set <laughs> That's up. That's right. <laughs> the purple seems to be a big hit. It is. I, I might keep it. You know, I might have to keep it. There we go. There we go. Um, Valeria, what about you? What uh, what's one thing that you get complimented on? 
I think it's mostly like my energy, like my positive vibe, mm. like all the time. Mm. Yeah. Even though when I'm feeling like not that positive at all with life, mm. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I can testify that you're all you know. You come to people with love, even yeah. on even on chaotic days. What about folks in the audience? What's one thing that people compliment you on? And you can make it up. Fashion, style. I heard style over here. Kindness, skin tone. Skin tone, love that. Skin tone, love it, love kindness it. Kindness over here, they mentioned as well. More kindness on, on YouTube, I love it. I feel like, uh, what, what's one thing that people compliment me on? What about I, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, no, I, I, Your I, hair. I'll participate, I, I have got, yes, my hair. <laughs> yeah. As it gets longer, it used to be very, pre, at the beginning of the pandemic, I cut it all off and dyed it blonde. And then over time, <laughs> it went through different stages. It was pink, and then it was light blue, and then it was black, and now it's long. And at each different stage, I, ha I get a lot of, oh, a new thing. And I like it. It grew a lot in a year, too. It did. It did. Yeah, it did. that's good. 15 months, 16 yeah. months now. Yeah. Here Ooh. we go. Oh, I'm curious, any, any other things that people compliment you folks on in the house? Your voice, you're, um, we got an amazing, San, another San Diego musician here tonight. Yeah, your voice. Tacos. Tacos, do you make yeah. really good yeah. tacos? Yeah, do you make the best yeah. tacos yeah. like <laughs> ever? Yeah, oh my God. We like tacos. Uh, I you know do we have a sample PSM? though? I know, I know. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't believe you. <laughs> Over here on YouTube, Gregory is so funny because they compliment him on how he hovers above the floor. I want to see that now. <laughs> oh, I've got, we got some imagination. I, yeah. I com we compliment people on how they hover above the floor. <laughs> Leslie, her smile, Joe, sense of humor. Mm. Smile, sense of humor. Can I ask a question? Yes, of course. What do we compliment ourselves on? Ooh. That is a, I love That's that. the hardest. I love that. Hardest. How about let's have you both answer that and then, and then we'll move on to the next question. I'm sticking with fashion, <laughs> my dress. <Okay. laughs> it's an easy answer. It already went over, so we'll give it a try in a second time. <laughs> I think it worked quite well. I compliment myself on my daughter. Oh, yes. yes. Thank yes. you, Daddy. I compliment you on your daughter. There you go. Thank I compliment you, Daddy. you on your father. <laughs> Oh, thanks. That just made me, I don't, don't, don't cry now. No, <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Uh, right. <laughs> I love that. I, I think that some, a lot of the questions that we ask on WordUp, some of them are a little bit more challenging. Some of them can feel a little bit, quote unquote, negative. Sometimes they can feel uh, like positive and it feels like shouting something out loud in public that's good about ourselves, which is not something that I think we maybe have a lot of opportunities to do, but yeah. I appreciate you asking that question yeah. so that we can, yes. you. you know, not back off of that. That's a good one. You ready for the next question? Ready. Here we go. <laughs> 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 what is your number one self-distraction tactic? Self-distraction dist tactic. Like on purpose? Kind yeah, of thing? yeah, like I'm, I'm trying to, dis to distract myself from something for whatever reason. Purposely. What oh. am I doing? What's okay. that tactic? Go, go, go on, on social media. Mm. Social media. Un unnecessarily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you have to do it for work, but sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> oh, there's the bell. I'm looking at you, Rebecca. Day of social media. Hey. <laughs> Unless you're trying to build followers. <laughs> but still. Limit so your time on it. Hey, I don't know. and you got yeah. six bell tolls. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> like Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Snapchat, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> I heard also Tumblr, YouTube, and I got one more, and I just heard it. It's the newest Tinder. fad. Oh. TikTok. Was that oh. six? Did I miss it? I lost Did that. I know? Also. Anyway, yeah, there we go. I love it. I love it. You got our we made it. <laughs> All right, so social media is a, yes. a self-distraction tactic. I definitely relate to that one. There's yeah. plenty to be distracted by. Yeah, yeah. What that new you? cat. Oh, you know, cats. that cat video. All just self-distraction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I'm by myself, we're in public. And either. When I'm by myself, it would be... Stretching. Stretching? Stretching, yeah. 
Wow, that's a very wholesome way to distract mm-hmm. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good for the body. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I aspire to that kind or of Or choosing my next tie. Hey! Oh. There you go. <laughs> that seems like the task at hand that's very focal. That's yeah, right. That's important. That's important. Folks, folks in the audience, what's your number one self-distraction tactic? Sleep. Sleep. I, I've got one over here, Laura. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, a guest that purposely bought a nanny cam to watch their cat from work. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's commitment to distraction. That is commitment to distraction. That's next level distraction. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> Round of applause for the cat cam. <laughs> I nice. think I know who that is. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just seeing where you're at. We got a lot of cat lovers here. Yeah, a lot lovers. in that group. Over here we have plotting to take over the world. Oh, oh yes. Casual. Yeah. Just Using digging. my imagination, Marjorie is saying. There we go. And Declan is saying that he, check my, oh, hold on. Oh, my email. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, my email. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, email is a, a very easy way to get distracted, mm-hmm. I find that. Um, but I'm, I'm very glad that thank you very much, YouTubers, for weighing in. Thanks for Plaza people. We're ready to move on to our next question. Next Woo! question. All right, I'm very excited to hear what the sound is for this one. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> what is one goal that you had so strongly that you didn't let anything get in your way? So this is past tense. Like it is a goal you were so committed to, was so important to you, you didn't let anything get in your way. Mm. Ooh, you ooh, I have one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> to go to college and play Division One basketball. That was a big, big goal for me. Mission accomplished. You didn't let anything get in your way? I did not let get in your way. Was it easy? Heck no. Definitely not. But I had the goal in mind, and that helped to, uh, to achieve it, yeah. know, knowing, what you want, what, knowing what you want. I love that. I love that. Congratulations, very Thank belatedly. You. You know. Thank you. Uh, what about you? Ooh, ooh, I got one. <laughs> ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Designing and building a pyramid. A pyramid? Pyramid, yes, ma'am. That's incredible. You built a pyramid? Yeah, several. But I, I need more information. <laughs> yeah, me too. I want to know what type of pyramid. Pyramid. Would we have seen your work, sir? 2B <laughs> equals pi H. That's the formula. Wow. That's how you build it? 2 times the base is equal to pi times the height. That's the basic formula that was used for the Giza pyramid in Egypt. Wow. And so mine is modeled after that. Where so is yours? I have, well, one constructed right now. It's out in El Cajon. It's really? a small one. It's only got a 10-foot base. The one that I had before that in the same location had a 20-foot base. 20-foot base, 13-foot uh, <laughs> height. Diagonals were 21 wow. feet. Yeah. That's so cool. Can, is it some, is, can we go see it in El Cajon? Where is it? It's on private property. Okay, so we will not close. You can take it. Not yet. Can, can we have the address? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Generally in El Cajon. El Cajon's a big town. That's so cool, though. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing. That's you're, it. You're welcome. Thank it you. Takes commitment. Yeah. Anybody out here? What's a goal that you did not that you, that you accomplished despite everything? Moving to San Diego. Moving mm-hmm. to San Diego. Yeah. Yay! We yeah. love having people in San Diego. Welcome. Our friend behind. Can I, uh, that was so amazing. Can I ask you to say that one more yes, time into please. the microphone? Because uh. that was amazing. <laughs> Mine is to retire and move to beautiful, sunny San Diego oh. from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Well, welcome yeah. aboard. We're very happy and, to have you. And, and I did it. You did yes. it. Yes, you did. And it's sunny. It's very sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Any other? Yeah, we got yeah, Vic. Yeah. 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 We got to witness it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any others? I had one of my own. I got to travel by myself to a foreign country. Woo! Which one? Yeah, where'd you go? Mexico. Oh, I, uh, don't hold it against me. I went to China. <laughs> oh. In 2019. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good for but you. I went by myself and I saw the Great Wall, so I got to cross oh, that off my bucket list. Amazing. That's amazing. Thank yeah. you for sharing. I, there was a hand over here. Oh, um, getting my, graduating with my degree was an honor while parenting and working. 
Wow. wow. Graduating, getting your degree with honors while parenting. That's amazing. We, we got a hand over here, Laura. Uh, okay, great. Getting my master's. Yes. Getting my master's. Nice. Education. Love it. Love right here in the front. Yes. Being a business owner of three businesses. My we God. love our San Diego local businesses. Thank pleasure. you so much for sharing. Okay, Over right here are people in YouTube. Oh, somebody's commenting. One somebody here, right in here. the audience. Yeah. Um, I'm a long distance runner and, uh, and a coach. I told her, get me under two hours, which she did. I said, I'm going to break this record. She said, no, you're not. It's too close away, and there's a mile long hill. I said, watch me. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Breaking a record as a Breaking long distance runner. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Over here is being a good yeah. teacher, auditioning, hey. and Andre saying, my mom, dash, go to medical school, me, dash, go to grad school. Ooh, yeah. we got a lot, a lot of school mm -hmm. happening here. Yeah. We, we have somebody out here. Yeah. Um, I graduated from college, yay, which was my goal, but I did it seven months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> amazing nice. goals that we've all accomplished we didn't let anything get in our way we've got we've got some more questions that are a little bit goal oriented so if you have if you're you know if you're thinking like oh I might have raised my hand if we spent another couple of minutes on that question <laughs> you'll get another opportunity uh, but let's check out our next one okay. yeah? yeah all right Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> thank you Mickey Vale uh, so, the, the last year, you know, how many times have we heard the saying, these uncertain times? These uncertain times. Maybe we're coming out of them, you know. But, but I would just ask you, what's one word to describe how you perceive these uncertain times? One word? One word. Maybe there are many, and we're just going to hear one. Wealthy. Wealthy. Yes. Oh, now I want more words. Can you tell us why? <laughs> Whoa! I know, I know, I've made and switched. It's a there. secret, no. <laughs> well, because opportunity is wherever we look for it. Mm. And in down times, the first thing you think is, well, what's really down? I'm not. I just, I just see so much potential everywhere I look. Mm. I keep doing, you know? Mm. Yep, mm -hmm. that's good. I'm hearing yep. some reverberation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. W. Yeah. That's good. That's and, true. And, and we'll hear from the Plaza folks in just a sec. Yeah. What about you, Rebecca? Um, what is a word for to how how you perceive perceive these uncertain these times. uncertain times? Yeah. Um, um, I'm gonna kind of piggy piggyback off you, Daddy O, because yeah. this. Um, I always consider there's no matter what there's always a potential. So that's my word is potential mm -hmm. of um, of of figuring out something new, finding a new way. Um, you can always it's 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 definitely easier to just you know wallow. Uh, it's it's a little bit harder to get to dig deep and see find find the find a purpose in that or to find a you know something new something that uh, you know different glasses you know seeing something a different vision so I love it. I'd so say potential potential we got potential and wealthy yeah I saw her develop new ways to entertain hey. and to provide for the public need for interaction during mm. that time mm. well, you can't go out well do it from here yeah live stream it. live streaming concerts yeah. and stuff mm -hmm. you know yeah. necessity forces us to bring out the better part of ourselves that's it's right. always in there. That's right. Just looking to come out. Give it up for artists during yeah. our time of need, yeah. for sure. Thank you. I saw, I saw some hands over here. What's one word to describe how you perceive these uncertain times? Opportunity. Mm. Opportunity. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yep. You're feeling that? You're feeling the same one? Shout out another one. Yeah? We got another one. Grateful. 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 Oh, yeah. Big yeah. Time. yeah. Uh, growth. Growth. Right. Love it. Growth. Lupita, you were, you were also raising your hand? Yes. No, I wasn't supporting you. Oh, you're like <laughs> helping, helping Victor and getting more attention there. Any, any other words? Yeah? Uh, listen. Listen? I love it. Listen. Yes? Family. 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 Yeah. yeah. Appreciation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Searching. Yeah. 
Challenging, peaceful. Yeah. Hot mess. Hot mess. <laughs> and it's even a hot mess because you gotta like squish it into one word. You know, like hot mess. Hyphenated. <laughs> hot mess. Hyphenated. hyphenated. That's hot mess. I For love me, that. I would say improvise. Improvise. Yeah. I love it. And over here, opportunity as well. And Axel is saying, I chihuahua. I <laughs> chihuahua. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Okay, I, I, that was great to kind of take stock because Rebecca, we asked that same question when we did this in the digital version about a year ago. And mm -hmm. I think we got some pretty different answers, you know, a year, a year in post. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of fun to get to have that one come back around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coming, but here, coming up. Coming up. We're not away. <laughs> so we talked about goals that people have had in the past. And now I would love to ask, what is one goal you have today that you feel strongly about? Mm. I'll start up here. What's one goal that you have today that you feel strongly about? Um, uh, evolving. Evolving. Evolving is, yeah. is kind of been, been a theme for me lately. Um, just, just, I don't know if it's because of, you know, pandemic world or whatever, or just as an artist trying to get outside of the normal, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, I want to always continue to strive to be better, and and you have to. In order to do that, you have to. I think evolve mm. a little bit. You have to be change yourself a little bit All to right. break out of that. All right. I love that. Mm -hmm. A goal of evolving. Yep. How about you, Mr. Savage? I want to build a bigger pyramid. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a very clearly <laughs> defined goal. <laughs> this, that pyramid is going to take me through the whole thing here. Now. <laughs> I know, I know. We've got another theme. We need to like make it a That's metaphor right. or That's something it. deep. Um, oh. I love that. I can't. Uh, maybe that one will be somewhere that we could all come visit and uh, hang out at. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's my goal. Really? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, you'll, you'll have see. to keep us posted so that I can let you'll people see. at Word Up know if there are details that they can follow up in order to see this quite a bigger blessing. pyramid. Yeah, mm -hmm. quite a blessing. Thank mm -hmm. you. What, what are some goals that are important to you that you have right now? Traveling. Traveling. Mm, yeah. Nice. Live to be 100 wow. years old. Yeah. You will do it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. will do it. Yeah. What are some other goals? It could be anything. I feel like um, my goal is to uh, find an, a place to sit word up on the plaza with the minimum amount of sun exposure. <laughs> today was not it. Today was definitely not it. But that's my goal. That is very We tried, though. Me. We tried to make it comfortable for everybody. We, we're trying. You know, yeah. the sun wasn't in your eyes today. That was a step. That's a step. You, you've got big support You want to switch chairs for here, Big support on that goal, my goodness. Over here, we have encouraging diversity. Encouraging yes. diversity. Yes. I'm curious about Thank the, you, like, Joe, the context. Mm -hmm. I wanted like context in which we do those things. That's so interesting. Um, any other any other goals? Grow community. Grow community. Yeah, that's important. I feel like I want to ask 30 follow-up questions to all these, and I know I can't do that right now, but boy, that's these are beautiful goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody? I see your hand kind of going up. Over here in the front. Qualifying for the Boston Marathon. Qualifying yeah. for the Boston Marathon. Nice. We're going with you. We're going in, in spirit, you know, supporting you. How long is that run? 26.2 miles. Wow. 26.2 wow. miles long. Yeah, that was the original marathon length. Wow. Yeah. That's a long run. Ooh, wow. What a blessing. You're Say powerful. It. You're powerful. To be positive tomorrow. Yeah? Oh, I, I love like that. that. Mm. To be positive like that. tomorrow. I recently I read somewhere someone was like, uh, the, the purpose of life is to is having something to do next Tuesday. <laughs> I thought that was really good. It kind of reminds me of like just to be positive tomorrow. Yeah. Step right. by step. Yeah. That's My good. goal is to be positive tomorrow, yeah? That's beautiful. To bring rays of sunshine wherever you go. You're already you're succeeding right now. That's right. I, I love it. Thank you for being here and for sharing your voice. All right, are we ready to move on to the next question? Is yes. there anybody else there, Ben? Yeah, yeah. Um, on a smaller scale, finish a math course. Hey. You, know who's hey. one, you know who's answering this one, right? <laughs> Good luck on your math course. And also Andrea wants to finish like a hiking challenge that she has. Ooh, very fun. Good place to be hiking. Mm -hmm. All right, so a little while ago we were talking about the ways that we distract ourselves. But this next question is, what is your number one procrastination tactic? 
So this one's mm. really about time. Tactics. You're trying to procrastinate. What do you do? I've got like 30 things coming to mind. This is way too easy for me. <laughs> what do you feel? Mine are usually, I mean, I, I'm always a busybody, yeah. but it's usually stuff I don't have to do right then. Mm -hmm. So I would say something like doing dishes when I don't have to, yeah. or it'd be like, Cleaning. oh yeah, there's that thing over that pile, that box I need to go through. Right. I have 10 other things I need to do, but I'm going to do that right now. It's so box it's kinda, time. Yeah, it's <laughs> box time at the most inopportune time. So. Yeah, I'd okay. say doing things at the, when you don't when you don't have to. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. How about so you, Mr. Stavis? Do you mean to choose a procrastination or just to find oneself oneself in procrastination? <laughs> that's a great. I don't question. think I choose. I think I choose. If that's the case, I'm always choosing to procrastinate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good question because we have one about self distraction, one about procrastination, and a and another one coming up about avoidance. Uh, so I would say, wh how, whatever it means to you, how about? <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, procrastination, gardening. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm with you. I'm water watering get, plants at the wrong yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> and just got to take a long time. Because yeah. you can start, oh, start. I forgot to do that. <laughs> oh, I left that there yesterday. Oh, there's the hammer. I couldn't find it for weeks. And, now I got the hammer, I might as well do that. You there know. you go. <laughs> yep. One thing leads to another. <laughs> Gardening, doing, doing all kinds of things when yep. you shouldn't be doing them. Yep. How do you procrastinate? What's your number one procrastination tactic? Television. 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 Watching TV. Yeah, for that. sure. I feel that. <sighs> yeah. Decluttering. Decluttering. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to like put, you got to get your categories going. <laughs> on the way out the door. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Could do it later. I saw a hand over here. We've got the radio. Turning on the radio. Yeah, I've got to oh, do one over here. Talk radio. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Thank you. Yeah? Laura, one over here that we can probably a lot relate to, eating. Mm. Eating. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Up the fridge. Yeah. Come in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry just talking about it. Right? <laughs> I, I, I resonate with that one yes. strongly. <laughs> I resemble that remark. I think it also came from my mom, which is probably why we have like a, a really strong response here to this eating one. Any other procrastination tactics, folks? Yeah? Just sitting on the couch. Just sitting on the couch. Mm -hmm. Oh, because once you sit down, how long is it going to be until you get up? <laughs> you never know. Once. Someone over here? Reading mm. Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like oh, now's yeah. the time to do that research. For sure. <laughs> 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 something, something from three hours at two in the morning. My and I don't the history of goat about cheese. Blue cheese. Oh, <laughs> reading about blue cheese at blue two in the morning. Oh, blue cheese. That's three hours. Good, that was good. Wikipedia search. I plugged in blue cheese with like anything, and it still makes sense to me. <laughs> and uh, over here, they're doing our YouTube okay. awesome audience, of yeah. course, is online Scrabble. Ooh. <laughs> then uh, Joe is like plans everything before he starts doing things. So I think the planning part is the procrastination part. Very interesting. Yeah. And Declan, I think he says, "Ooh, I'm not gonna tell you all because it's too spooky." So Ooh. I don't know. Let's think about what could be spooky. My interest has been piqued. <laughs> Rick, did I see your hand up? Uh, I'll be playing NBA 2K21. Mm-hmm. This is a game. Video, video games. games. Video, video games. games. Are we yeah. talking NBA video game language? <laughs> Basketball. Vi thank you. Basketball video game. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, so we, 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 we got this one down, and we've still got more to go. Yep. Um, now we talk about procrastination. Uh, oh, sorry. I interrupted <laughs> you, Mickey. Can you play it again? I ruined it. I talked over it. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> All right, next question. What's your number one? avoidance tactic for whatever the the thing the person is and you just want to avoid this you don't want to deal with it even at all what's your number Ooh. one avoidance tactic take a drive take a drive Ooh. get in the car take my little ella my puppy with me and <laughs> 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 yeah i love it just really just driving away yeah, yeah. It's one way to avoid that it. is definitely one way yeah. um yeah, just bar bury your nose in, in, in work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. some sort of work of, uh, you know, getting back. T 
to emails and oh, just yeah. I just just I gotta do that thing that over there. So right, right. Yeah. This one task. Be right back. You know. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. That would be mine. That's relatable. I yeah. totally feel that. Yeah. And I and I think like emails. Emails, emails are, <laughs> yeah. are something that like it's so easy to just go into a wormhole of like email land mm. and it all feels important it right. all feels like work right it all feels like productivity yeah yep but avoiding it yeah yeah mm. how do you avoid things block them, block them. just block like blocking them. people block like blocking oh. i love it i love it effective yeah <laughs> Turning, turning phone your off. phone completely Ooh. off. Ooh. That's a bold move. Mm. I yeah. wish I could do that. I, I, know. Know. I, I didn't know you could do that. I wish that I would be brave enough to do that one day. Right? Yeah. Right? I love it. I love it. You're bringing rays of sunshine ongoingly, giving us all some inspiration. I love it. Any other ways that anybody avoids things? Go walking. Walk. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's, that's, that's pretty wholesome, you I, know? I got one, Laura. Mine's a little yeah. more passive aggressive. Uh, I'll put headphones on. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 There yeah. may or may not be something plain. <laughs> Great. Headphones on, like avoiding eye contact. Yep. Just like, you know, they talk about like step forward, step back in a room, but like just stepping back and then stepping back and then stepping back and then stepping back and then stepping back. Okay. All right. Look at all these ways that we're able to not do the things that we're yeah. supposed to be doing. How creative we are. This is a show all about creativity. Um, okay. So here we go. We're, we're, we're in the home stretch right now. We've talked. <laughs> was, was that a chipmunk laugh or what was it? There, there we go. We're bringing some levity back into it with that lovely chipmunk sound. Um, we've talked about the goals that we've accomplished, the goals that we are hoping to accomplish, the things that get in our way, the ways we get in our own way. Um, so now that we've all been here together, we've all heard like what everybody else is saying and we kind of have a little sense of who all is here tonight. Um, if you could give words of encouragement to the people around you here on the plaza, on YouTube, just based on all the things that you know about them or don't know about them, what words of encouragement would you like to give everybody here at Word Up? Got a hand, I'm gonna go straight there. Cause we do it, yeah, do it. Don't give up, there we go. Believe mm. in yourself. Thank you, thank you. Those hands went up real fast. I love that. What, do you have any thoughts up here? Give up. Give up? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stavis. <laughs> that, see, that's some reverse psychology right there. Yeah. That's some reverse psychology. Go ahead, that's give up. No, I don't so want to give up true. now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's very sneaky. I, like I want to cover the spectrum, you know? <laughs> dimension into this. <laughs> Good stuff, so give up. Uh, how about you, uh, I would say, uh, um, yeah, just ch challenge yourself. <coughs> challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's easy to be complacent. So challenge yourself to be, to, to mm -hmm. do, to do, to do more, to do, to go bigger. Yeah. 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 I feel that. I feel like um, I would I would say like listen 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 inwardly because sometimes that means like take a break don't do this yeah. sometimes that maybe that voice says like you're capable of more <laughs> right. like listen in not out maybe also out <laughs> I yeah. shouldn't say don't don't listen to anybody but you know that's my first instinct is like mm -hmm. listen in mm. any other words of encouragement yeah we've got to get oh. therapy over here get therapy, get therapy. Yeah. snaps for therapy yes. yes hey get help yeah yeah. Lorna, give uh, yourself some grace. Amazing. Yep, yep, Lorna yep. was our very first San Diego community guest on the plaza at Word Up, which meant that there was like another level of having no idea what was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Lorna. Thanks so much for coming back. Uh, any other words of encouragement? Keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. Keep moving. Thank I you. Love Thank that you. One. Yeah. I have Thank one, you. one resource. Oh, what? Yeah. Share, share resources. Love it. Thank you. And then, yeah, Brian. <laughs> Dream. 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 I love that one. Dream. Dream. Yes. Oh, Aww. you look fantastic. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm, I really need to hear that because I feel like I probably look like a lobster at this point. <laughs> and I'm in like a glistening lobster. So thank you, Shelly. Over yeah. here on YouTube, they're oh. adding do the right thing. The Declan right thing. is a green with the word give up, <laughs> with the <laughs> phrase give up. <laughs> Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Keep like on trucking. Yeah, yeah. Like, like marching along. Yeah. Keep on trucking. Just hide, somebody said. Yeah. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Have faith. You can do it. Right. Wine a little, you'll feel better. Wine a little, you'll feel I better. I like that one, Andrea. I like it. You can wine yeah. over at our pub, just saying. Hey. Uh, yeah. Dream big. Dream yes. big. I love it. I love it. Yeah? It's just a hill. Get over it. It's just <laughs> a hill. Get over it. I love did like you that. die? I like that That's one. Like, it. did you die? Did you die? <laughs> no, no. I don't keep moving. So well, there's that. There's you that. didn't die. There's that. So we've actually made it through all of our questions. So please give yourselves a round of applause. Hey. If you're on YouTube, please give yourselves an emoji round of applause. Uh, because now we've actually, you know, and I'm gonna let, I'm gonna stall for you for a couple minutes now to do okay. what you gotta do, okay? okay. And, and and you. Uh, but here's how this next part is gonna work. We've got we've got a song that we've all put together right now. That's got all of you know all of our contributions filtering in. We're gonna see Rebecca Jade perform this original song created by all of us but we have a fun surprise because we're not only making an original song tonight in real time we are making an original music video because we have this live stream right yes yes we've got some woos <laughs> here with us i mentioned her name earlier but ebony harvey san diego music award nominee for her music video bad wolves featuring rebecca jade and mickey vale and more is here <laughs> so, Ebony, we've got Ebony on the camera to shoot this, you know, as we're performing, as, as we're all working very hard to perform this, Rebecca, you're going to be just sitting there doing nothing. Right. Uh, Ebony, you've got the camera. You're going to help us, like, get some artistic angles, do your Ebony thing. But here's the thing, in music videos, usually there's, like, backup dancers and actors. <laughs> so, what I would love to do in a minute, I'm going to ask for some brave volunteers. And if you volunteer, here's all that you gotta do. I'm gonna, uh, we'll meet you and I, as Rebecca is singing, over by the DJ booth. You're gonna get a piece of paper. You're gonna write your name as big and clear mm. as you can, <laughs> so that at, at a certain point in the song, I'm gonna cue you to come over here, you're gonna stand here, turn this way. Rebecca is gonna be singing, and she is just gonna see your name, and she's gonna be able to sing directly to you. So basically, you don't have to be brave at all because all you're doing is getting serenaded by Rebecca Jade. <laughs> and if you want to boogie a little bit, you're more than welcome to. But I will cue you when you come on, and then at the end, you'll just turn around and give a big bow, okay? So are there any brave volunteers? Come on. Yeah? Dun, come dun, on up. Dun, come on up. We've got one. We've got two. We've got three. And over here, we have a third one. A third? Yeah, come on over. All right, all right. Yay. And uh, so I, I really appreciate all of you. Everybody give a round of applause for our three great volunteers. <laughs> you all know how great they are because you didn't raise your hand, right? Like, that's amazing. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I'm going to meet over there with you in just a second. But y'all ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Do you, want me to, do you want me to move this a little bit like this, Rebecca? Or do you uh, want it to sit like right this? Right there, I think, is all right. Right here? Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. So, now it's time. Without further ado, what's the name of our song, Ms. Rebecca? It's called, What's It Gonna Be? What's It Gonna Be? Hey! An original song founded by Rebecca Jade. That's right. In collaboration with Mr. Eric Salvin. That's right. Yep. Yep. Valeria Vega and people on YouTube. Yep. People in the plaza and Veronica Virgit, Virg sorry. Veronica Burgess, sorry. <laughs> and Mickey, DJ Mickey Vale and Woo Ebony Harvey. Woo and Rick Scales. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Cool. Yay, yay. All right, y'all. As you know, the song is called What's It Gonna Be? Mostly written by me, but also written by you all today. <laughs> I 
know sometimes it's hard to recognize your positive vibes when all the world seems to be bringing you down. You are too high behind the comforts of a lie to ease the pain of not believing you deserve the crown. Don't let no one take away your, your place in the sun, sun. Don't let no one win your race, no, no, you've only just begun, oh, oh. you can fight or you can hide, check your email or take it in stride. What's it gonna be? You might lose or you might win As long as you stand strong being a, being a good teacher What's it gonna be? Life has a way Of sometimes seeming like a hot mess <laughs> Keep holding on Nothing today will keep you from an encouraging diversity unless you let it. Don't let it come on. Don't let no one take away your, your place in the sun. Oh, don't let no one win your no, no, you've only just begun. Oh, you can fight or you can hide. Sit on the couch or take it in stride. Oh, tell me what's it gonna be? You might lose or you might win. As long as you stand strong, breaking records, yeah. What's it gonna be? Take it in stride, take it in stride. What's it gonna be? Come on, yeah. You might lose or you might win as long as you stand strong, opening your business, being a business owner. What's it gonna be? Come on, yeah. Come on, oh. Come on and take it. Take it in stride. Don't you give up? No, no, no. As I believe in yourself. Come on, yeah. Freedom, do the right thing. Don't give up. No, no. San Diego has faith. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, yeah. Uh oh. Go get therapy if you need it. But keep on trucking, that's all that matters. Come on, y'all. What's it gonna be, yay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Come on down, Rebecca Jade. And folks, come on, stay up here. We gotta get like a, we gotta get a picture, all of us, you know? Oh, yay. <laughs> Round of applause for Rebecca Jade. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> I love Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you so much. Amazing. What did it feel like, real quick, to be serenaded by Rebecca Jane? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Special. About time. About time. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what was that like for you, Rebecca, to be singing your song that you know very well? With prompts over here and prompts over there. Yes. With a bunch of people watching you. Uh, it was a really fun challenge, and uh, it was an honor to do it. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you thank so much yeah. for doing it, for taking on the challenge. <laughs> yeah. It was so fun to have you. What about you, Mr. Stavis? What was it like to watch your daughter do that? 
it was refreshing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I feel that, I feel that. Thank you so much for being here and for helping to be a part of the storytelling, the conversation. It was so much fun to get to have you. It was so much fun to have everybody. I would now love to ask you all the question that every guest on Word Up ever has answered. And I'm asking you as well, because this is the question that you can write your response to on the little ornaments and hang it on the family tree. We got, to, we got to create an original work of R&B today on the theme of choices. Um, there are so many different art forms, so many different backgrounds, and every room that we walk into in the arts community here in San Diego, we bring all these different parts of ourselves and are defining the community with all the parts of who we are. And so my question that I love to hear your responses to is, how do you define the San Diego arts community? And if you think you're not a part of it, you showed up tonight and you helped make a song. So you are a member of the San Diego arts community, first of all. <laughs> um, but the second question that we'd love to ask you is, what is your greatest wish for the arts community? Mm. So how do you define it? What's your greatest wish for it? Who would like to go first? I would, I would say, um, I really would define it as eclectic. I really think we have a beautiful, beautiful artistic art community here in San Diego, from music to theater to, I mean, there's so, the, the gamut we, we have here, and, you know, it's not only, it, it certainly helps because we have the m amazing weather year round, but, you know, we just have so, so many creatives, to poets, Gil Soto is the man, I love that dude, to, to spoken word, to, to hip hop artists, to singers and songwriters. It's just, it's such a beautiful, and I know I'm not even touching the surface. We have amazing painters here. They're incredible, and I just love how eclectic we are here. And what I would, I think my dream would be that we just continue to support all kinds of art, you know, um, and just continue to be open, open-minded. I think that's the beautiful thing about art. Art and artists and art appreciators and music appreciators mm -hmm. is it helps us to open our hearts and our minds um, to, be, to be more open, which I hope will spill into other aspects of life, be it personal relationships and yeah. you know, maybe, maybe differences of opinion. You can have differences, but still love each other and talk about it. So that's why I hope it spills into that. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much. The true greatness of San Diego is still being discovered. Mm. Yeah. Tell us more. That's enough. All right, all right. Well, we'll have that's to enough. discover it, I suppose. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's what discovery is. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree with you, and I'm so excited that we get to open some of these conversations with amazing folks like yourself coming out in person, coming out online. Both of those things take take some showing up. So thank you so much for showing up. Thank you yeah. for being a part of this. Oh yeah, and I would like to say, add if it's okay, I hope it's yes. okay, but like as an artist, one of, one of the things I say at all, a lot of my shows is without you, I truly believe there is no us. I can't, I can sing all day long to a wall. Is that gonna really reach anybody, you know? So we need that interaction, we need you, and we appreciate you all so much for supporting the arts. Absolutely. So thank you from the bottom Absolutely. of my heart. And it's pretty clear, this song and this hour would not have been the same without folks who showed up That's and right. who participated. So thank you for shaping this hour. Um, I hope that you come back. The next time that we meet, it will be July 16th, and we will be doing this all again with the art form of opera. Mandy oh. Jo Miller is our amazing opera singer. I'm just going to point at you because you're here anyway. She's coming back. <laughs> Um, but I hope that you join us again to have another conversation uh, curated from another amazing San Diego artist. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you again, Ebony Harvey, for shooting our music video. Woo! Thanks to Mickey Vale for testing out some amazing sound effects. Pam, 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 pam. And everybody, <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful and safe weekend. Thank you so much for coming.
You gotta meet me in the palace for the kings and the queens and I'm running around free. No fear, no challenge, and we got enough balance and we made it out and life's sweet up in the promised land. You see the gangs out here, New York to Cali, across the Addis, the flow automatic, a new 